Five features of Inno Reader. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about RSS Reader apps and how the top two apps compare. As part of the Daily Notes workflow, I used Feedly to bring together articles from blogs I follow. I've been using this service since the closure of Google Reader in 2013. In recent months, I've been using it as part of my Obsidian workflow to generate new ideas and, and capture new source notes. One of the features I wanted to use on Feedly was the search feature, but this was a pro feature that required a monthly charge. When I was about to upgrade to the pro feature, a viewer suggested I try Inner Reader. I've read from online reviews that Inner Reader has a better pro feature set and is slightly cheaper, so I thought I'd try it out. In this video, I'll list out the five most important features of Inner Reader that I use and compare them against Feedly to help you decide if it's worth the switch. The five features that I'm going to look at are search and filtering of articles from different sources, user interface to help me process the articles to find the ones I want, a way to manage my email subscriptions so they do not flood my inbox, integration to other applications so I can use them all in my workflow, mobile app to let me quickly review articles and bookmark the ones I want to read. If you are interested in more techniques, tools and hacks for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy the content and found it useful, please press the like button. One feature that was not available on Feedly free version was searching through articles. Having the ability to search through hundreds of articles saves time and helps you find the articles you want. In Feedly, to search articles, you need to upgrade to the paid service. This feature is free on Inner Reader without a subscription. If you upgrade to Inner Reader Pro version, you can also run Global Search. Global Search provides you access to search Inner Reader's internal database of articles, as well as Twitter and Reddit. Another feature that I was interested in was rules. Rules allow you to apply actions based on the properties of an article. For example, I'm always interested in reading about Obsidian workflows, so I added a rule to start any articles that refer to Obsidian. This feature lets me focus on the articles I want to read first. The final feature in this section is the filtering of individual feeds. Some blogs that I follow cover many different topics. By being able to filter out for certain keywords within a blog, I'm able to focus on the articles I want to read. Let's see these features in action. In search, you can choose to search in a particular folder or groups of folders, as well as other attributes to filter on. Global Search has the same features, but you search the internal database, which includes Google News, Twitter, and Reddit. I like that you can subscribe to the topic. If you subscribe, the topic gets added to the active search. To activate rules, you need to right click on a folder and select create rule. The rule I use most often is tagging articles based on keywords. When the subscription publishes them onto the feed, Inner Reader tags them. The tagging allows me to see if there is anything of interest without using the search. I do this by setting a rule name, entering when I want the rule to activate, enter a condition to meet, enter an action. In this case, set the tag on an article to personal automation. These tagged articles can be seen on the tags folder. Feedly doesn't have rules, but it does have Leo. Leo is an AI that can learn your preferences. This helps to filter out articles to show you only the ones you need. This feature is only available in the Pro version. Inner Reader has a very similar interface to Feedly, which makes crossing over straightforward, but Feedly definitely has a more cleaner look to it. These are the three differences that I've spotted. Inner Reader Dashboard. The dashboard acts as an overview of your RSS feed. You can add gadgets that summarize everything from the number of unread articles you have to new articles on your search. Inner Reader gives you more options to customize your view and interface compared to Feedly. For CSS coders, Inner Reader allows you to customize the CSS to get the user interface design to the way you want. Another area in which Inner Reader and Feedly support is newsletter management. If you subscribe to many productivity and technologist newsletters like me, you might find your email inbox filling up. I often end up deleting them without even reading to focus on actual emails that need my attention. Inner Reader allows me to manage these within its service. To add a newsletter, you need to choose Add Newsletter option. From here, you need to add a name, for example, productivity, and Inner Reader will provide you with an email address to use for your newsletters. You can set up up to 20 different emails and they act the same as any other feed. So you can add filters, create rules, apply tags and search for them. Another feature that is important to me is integrating with other services. Inner Reader lets you share with Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Reddit and many more on the free version. On the other hand, Feedly lets you use Facebook and Twitter on its free version. 
making you pay extra for services that are free on InnerReader. The most important feature for me was connecting to Readwise for highlights. I needed this so I could transfer my highlights into Obsidian using Readwise Community Plugin. Both Feedly and InnerReader offer this now, if you have the pro versions. To enable InnerReader to Readwise connection, you need to provide InnerReader with Readwise token in the Preference, Share, Save and Login screen. After that, all you need to do is annotate the text by highlighting it on the article and selecting Annotate Selection on the contextual menu. If you cannot see this, you can enable it in the Selection menu. This can be found under Preference, Interface, Article Contents, Selection menu. Once highlighted, InnerReader automatically syncs with Readwise. With the Readwise Community plugin, these highlights are available in Obsidian. Another integration that I've been using is getting my YouTube subscriptions directly in InnerReader. Bookmarking videos for later consumption and highlighting YouTube descriptions to sync with Obsidian via Readwise has made my workflow faster. Both InnerReader and Feedly offer similar iPhone apps. I needed the app to process articles as quickly as possible and let me read on the go. Both apps do this well, allowing me to flick through articles one-handed, starring my favourite articles quickly, which I could process later. If you don't like the InnerReader app, you can use a third-party app like Unread to connect to your InnerReader or Feedly account. Unread provides a minimalistic view of articles that are easy to read. I think Feedly has more to offer when it comes to professional features if you include Leo's features, which can filter your articles as it goes along, rather than you having to set up rules. If you don't need these features, you can switch to InnerReader Pro subscription to save money. If you are looking for a free service, I would recommend InnerReader as the system rules features allow you to manage your subscriptions quickly. Remember to subscribe and like if you found this video helpful and would like to see more. If you enjoyed this video, check out my video on Readwise which is a service that lets you store highlights from different sources.